Hi, this is Dr. Campbell. I want to talk today about how homework helps teachers. The debate on how homework helps teachers continues in education with jeers and cheers on both sides of the issue. Students and many parents are cheering that the new school trend is helping to eliminate the excessive loads of homework that lead to the reduction of quality family time. Teachers are left wondering why would an education board of directors eliminate one of the needed tools that help reinforce classroom instruction and activities. Without homework, teachers will need to develop additional strategies that help students meet achievement outlined by state standards and assessments. Now, according to an article that I was reading titled, Another School District Says No to Homework, the superintendent of schools in Florida's Marion County has done away with homework at their elementary schools. Holly Mayer of the Marion County School District has directed the teachers at her county's 31 schools to stop providing homework to their students. According to the superintendent, the research showed that students who are given a preponderance of homework do not perform better or get better grades than those who do not. However, there will be exceptions, according to this superintendent, for special projects and research papers. But gone are the days of time-consuming homework special packets being sent home in backpacks every night. Instead, the teachers will encourage parents to read with their children for at least 20 minutes each evening after school lets out. Now, the superintendent came to this decision after re studying research from the University of Tennessee professor Richard Allington. Allington, a professor of theory and practice in teacher education, put forth the idea that students benefit from being relieved of the stress of schoolwork when they get home and that reading to kids has more benefits. This new strategy will backfire for several reasons. The first reason is that this strategy will backfire due to the implementation of the strategy utilized by the superintendent. The research is isolated and the superintendent should have piloted the new strategy at one of the elementary schools before making it a district-wide initiative. You see, effective leaders challenge processes by using pilot groups to solve problems. However, the superintendent has taken a power over top-down approach. The top-down leadership approach assumes the right idea and legitimate authority will ensure organizational change without considering that mid-level and lower-level positions create ways to undermine and overthrow transformation initiatives. You cannot get people to do things by forcing them. Ordering teachers will not help to solve problems related to the new initiative. Adults see problems as an incompetence indicator and create defenses that prevent problem recognition. You see, teachers will undermine the initiative because they know that homework helps to reinforce daily instructional activities. When challenged, teachers will resort to their union representation as an alternative to provide students with additional homework. They may even resort to labeling it as quote unquote supplemental activities. This initiative is doomed to fail. Even though the parents are on board with the elimination of homework, when a student is failing, they will blame the new initiative as a source of the student's failure. The student's failures will be reflected in achievement measures associated with state standardized assessments. The other factor regarding how homework helps teachers is related to student progress. When students are completing homework on a daily interval, teachers have an opportunity to assess, to assess the learning pro their learning progress. Without homework, teachers will have to rely on informal classwork assessments and students' responses to gauge their progress. This will not be enough to keep students from struggling with the subject matter. Finally, to request that parents read to their children for 20 minutes falls short of the reason for learning how to read. The focus of reading is reading comprehension. Reading comprehension is the ability to read text, process it, and understand its meaning. This will make the difference in the student's progress. Another question that needs to be answered is, what content area will dominate the focus of this initiative? And what we'll find in, in many elementary schools, it will be 
language arts. Finally, to say um, the alternative to the no homework initiative could become very costly to parent to many parents. When the children begin to struggle, it will result in additional costs related to after school supplemental instructional and a activities. All in all, homework helps teachers to become better at the craft of educating our children. This is Dr. Campbell. You can get additional information at our website at www.positiveracialrelationships.com. Of course, if you want to talk about it, you can call me on my direct line at 856-566-3267. Have a great day, and thank you very much. Yeah. Be sure to check out PositiveRacialRelationships.com. Check it. Love, uh, yo, love. Pull your pencils out, classes in session. Let's focus on loving our neighbor without a question. Visit PositiveRacialRelationships.com. Leading classrooms together like a marriage bond. Kick racism out. That ain't what life's about. For more information, check the website out. Yeah.